Let me elaborate slightly more on the previous video. As a reminder, if you compute three vectors, um, if you compute three vectors, one, two, three, the determinant will represent the volume of this parallelopiped. Um, if you demand the determinant to be zero, it means that you demand the volume to be zero. Now, if the volume is zero, then the three vectors must lie on, on a plane. Um, because the determinant gives you the volume. If you demand that the volume to be zero, then the three vectors must lie on the plane. So we can use that, um, we can use that demand, we can use this demand, we can use this demand to, uh, to describe a plane. So let, let me just um, give you some examples. So for, for this one here, this is our demand in, in 2D. Because when, when you look at this 5, 2, so that's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2 up. So that's this point here. Uh, this is your x, put it into here. Um, that would be 11, 11. Uh, this is your y, put it into here. You see your demand. Um, is, your demand is not satisfied. So, so this point here is no good. This point here is no good. Um, if you, uh, if you let's let's look at um, let's look at this 3D example. Um, for a general point x, y, z. Let's say x is um, let's say x is one, two, three across. So let's say three across, and let's say uh, one, two, three, three across in the y direction, and let's just say ten. 10 here. So, so this is your point here. This is your point. Um, so, so from here you can work out this this vector. You can work out this vector uh, because you know the location of this. This is I don't know uh, one uh, one uh, three or something like. That. Well, the point is that you know the location here. You know the location. You know the location here. You can work out this uh, this this uh, this vector. Now you've got three vectors. And then compute the determinant of these three vectors. If um, if if the determinant is zero, then it lies on the plane. But here you can see that there's there's some sort of volume associated with this because this is your parallelogram. And then when uh, and then well, you can see that there is a volume associated with this parallelopiped. So there is a volume here. So this because there's a volume. Remember to describe a plane, we demand that the determinant equals the determinant equals zero. We demand this. But here, because there's a volume associated with this, um, so this point here, this point here is no good. Uh, just just similar to to this point here. This point here is no good. This is no good because it's not on a, on a plane. Let's say the point is uh, over here, over here. So that's like me selecting another point here. Two. Uh, P of two, two, and then put it put it into here. Put this into here. It turns out that this point is no good because this hasn't this hasn't been satisfied. So if you pick this point, um, uh, you you can eventually work out this factor here. And then here you've got a, a volume associated with this. Remember, we demand that the determinant of these three vectors. We demand that the determinant of this vector, this vector, and this vector to be zero. This is our demand. This is our demand. Uh, we demand that the, the determinant of three vectors equals zero. This is our demand here. Well, you selecting this point is like you selecting this point. It will not be satisfied. Our demand will not be satisfied. Here, we demand that the volume to be zero. But here, if you select this point here, it will have a volume associated with it. So, uh, so this, this point here will be no good. But then if you select a point on the plane, let's say on the plane here, then this vector here, uh, if, if you work out the determinant of these three vectors, the determinant of these three vectors will be, the determinant of those three vectors will be zero. So this point here, um, our, demand, our, our demand has been satisfied. So this point here will lie on the plane. It's just like you selecting this point, uh, one across, three up. Well, if you put it into here, uh, the left hand side would be three, well, this is your y here, put it into here. Well, the point is that our demand here has been satisfied, and so therefore this point is on the line. Well, if you select something on, on, on the plane, then the three vectors will have a, a determinant of zero, so therefore it, it will be satisfied. If you select another point on this plane here, it will satisfy, it will be satisfied. This point here will be satisfied, will be satisfied. Eventually, you're going to get a whole plane, just like you selecting this point. This will satisfy, this will sat be satisfied, and so on. Eventually, you're going to get a line. If you select all the points on the plane, everything will be satisfied, and then eventually you will trace out a plane.
um, yeah, I hope you can follow that. So in the next video, we're going to look at another way of describing a plane where where we where we consider the normal vector. Okay, well, but that's in the next video.